It's official. What's official? It's this. This is the script. I'm taking a September trip this year. I say that because I wasn't gonna do it this year. I was taken this year to build a house and that has been an unsuccessful nightmare. Oh, it'll happen. But yeah, a year has passed no house. I am more excited than ever. Yeah, I've earned it. I deserve it. I need it. Hard copy papers, confirmations of everything, linking everything together. But uh, every year has one. Every year has one. And this here real quick, you know, I've, I would not, have not, would not, <laughs> will never take one of those DNA tests, right? 23 and me, whatever it's called. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm a proud conspiracy theorist, folks. But I'm probably Italian, right? I'm probably Irish. But to my best of knowledge, there is no Greek in me. But I have a lot of memories there. This right here. This is Kamari Sunrise from the rock next to uh, Kamari Black Pebble Beach. You go up there in the morning and see the sunrise. This is a little piece of marble that came from the island of Naxos. And you hold it up to the light, I believe we can see the doorway of Apollo. Anyway, it's a 2,500 year old uh, marble remains of what they believe might be a doorway. It's the most famous uh, landmark on the island of Naxos. Yeah, well, coming down, there was a guy. He was sculpting into marble. He spoke no English. He had me hold these up to the light. And whether I needed it or not, I kind of wanted to support him. It's right there. Uh, Naxo's most famous landmark. And me. Yeah. I look forward to my trip. And there are routine behaviors that I now take for granted. But the fact is there's a time where it was all new to me. And something must have happened on that very first trip that it resonated to the point that I yearned to return. In April 2011, I had a friend of mine who said he found an amazing travel deal to Greece. Now, this was a 10-day Greek island tour through Gate One Travel. So, eight days accommodation. That means it's bookended on each side with Athens and the airport, with three days on the island of Mykonos and three days on the island of Santorini. This was independent travel. What's that mean? It means they drop you off and then you need to be back on that spot three days later because they're going to take you to the next thing. It's a great way to tour without being... without being part of a tour. I didn't have a lot of information. I didn't have a lot of exposure. I'm not sure I knew what Greece, where Greece was. Yeah. But in 1982, I did see the movie Summer Lovers with Daryl Hannah. If you wanted a romance, you came to the right place. It was filmed in Santorini. I didn't know where that was. I also couldn't imagine that one day I would be at that magnificent place. And at that time, I certainly didn't know that that vacation that we were putting together was going to take me there. So we jumped on an airplane. We checked into a hotel. We sightseed around the Acropolis, the Acropolis Museum. We saw the Parthenon. I also saw the stray dogs. It's the first time I had an awareness of the stray dog problem in Greece or Europe. Yeah, dogs all over the place. Everything was quite exciting. It was quite beautiful. But I also thought we came a long way for this. Yeah, there were some magnificent treats waiting for me in the morning when we got on the ferry. Hey, Tony headed to Mykonos. So I will tell you that the further I got away from Athens, the more this vacation had my attention. The water was changing colors the further we got away, and then we would see these islands that the ferry would load and unload. It's very exciting to me. Yeah, I'd never done anything like this before. And you know, the art and the method of this type of travel, connecting islands and ferries, I liked it. the island of Mykonos. I am 100% sure that we had an arranged shuttle to take us to the hotel, but we were offered a vegetable truck ride in the back with a dog named Victor. That's something you take advantage of. Never miss an opportunity to ride in the back of a flatbed truck with a dog. <laughs> Me 
Mykos was my first Greek island. We stayed at the port. It's the first time I saw this spacious Greek sunset sky. Remember this was April and it was absolutely freezing. There was a time that I had every amount of clothes on me at once, every layer. And then the next day I would switch them so I didn't look the same in all the pictures. A local seamstress made me a custom pink linen shirt. I would eat at the ports and have a vegetable egg white omelet, which would eventually become my staple meal when I did my solo travel. But this trip, this is where it all began. What eventually would become common in my travel videos this was the first, this is where it began. This is when I learned to never miss an opportunity to take a picture of a goat, to rent a vehicle and to explore the island, to explore an ancient cathedral, church. <laughs> when I leave, you don't pull this with your puppy sitter. I know you don't. I know you don't. Oh boy. Where were we? So, where were we? Yeah, to be humbled and fascinated by 2,000 year old Christianity and 3,000 year old Greek mythology. Okay, very good. Hey, this is Tony Hayden, and I'm in Greece right now on vacation. Yeah, it was more than a vacation, it was an introduction to firsts. So the ferry then delivered us to Santorini. We had a magnificent hotel overlooking the volcano. You know, it's the typical postcard pictures that got us there, but it was the exploring and the discoveries and the finds that really made this trip so memorable for me. Oh yeah, and by the way, I did find the house <laughs> from Summer Lovers. You know, I wouldn't do it now because I'm more informed, but we absolutely rode the donkeys down the 520 Santorini cliffside steps. I'm on the donkey, I'm on the donkey. I'm on the donkey, I'm on the donkey. Yeah, I wouldn't do it now. There's gotta be some parallel irony that the first time that I was there, it was very dark, it was very gray, it was very cold, and I was not at my best. Jose, what city are we actually in? Santorini. No, no it's not Santorini. Ia. What's the place? It's important. Ia. Ia? Okay, it's just spelled funky. All right, Ia. We're rock climbing today. Huh? How you doing, Jose? Huh? What's going on? Yeah, it's bad lighting. You gotta go this way. See? Right, follow me. Uh -huh. Right. And where's that boat? That boat looks amazing down there. But when I made a decision, a commitment and a promise to return, it was very bright and filled with life. And so was I. and what left the most indelible mark was on our last day we went walking and discovery and we came across an off-season Kamari beach. It's a dark gloomy day some of the shops some of the restaurants some of the hotels they're not even open. I knew that I wanted to come back when I touched the black stones that Kamari beach was known for I knew one day I'm gonna fulfill that promise the black pebble beach of Kamari. Mm -hmm. I knew that I made a promise that I was gonna return there one day. All right, listen, here's something I don't wanna forget. So as I lay here and do nothing, I let my hands are going through the rocks. And then when I find one that's special, that's smooth and speaks to me, well then that goes into my collection. Yeah. This happy energy is coming home with me. But you know what? Sometimes you can actually forget the promises, the promises you made to yourself. If I was there in 2011, it actually took me three years to get back there, to re-remember the promise that I made to myself. Life changed, some people in my life kind of exited, and 
it was my 50th birthday, and I was faced with doing without. So I went back and I relied on the person who has never let me down in the past, and that is myself. And that's when I made a decision. I'm gonna go by myself. I'm gonna plan a solo trip to the Greek islands all by myself. Welcome to Naxos, right? I've never been here before, so. I've actually never traveled to Europe by myself. It's very exciting. Farewell, Mykonos. Listen, you know what? I've never done this before. All this island hopping, being out of the country, traveling alone. I've never done this before. And you know what? It's fantastic. Yeah, this is my book that I made. But I love it. On the last page, I wrote something. The last page of my book. Time well spent. I would catch myself saying, this is a vacation of a lifetime which is finite. Eventually I would phrase it as, this is my new tradition. Yeah. What brings us joy? Yeah, just, you know, that's the script. <laughs> yeah, that's the script. I kept my promise. <laughs> yeah. It makes me happy. That makes me very happy.